How do you feel about making the first move? Does the other person have to make it every time? I like making the first move. Like me personally, I feel like it's a game. You know? <laughs> It's just exciting to me. It gives me a little rush, you know. It makes <laughs> makes me nervous. You play like, the win. <laughs> I play for keeps. Would you date someone that has a kid? No. <laughs> I personally wouldn't date somebody that has a kid. I don't have a kid, so I feel like I shouldn't be a stepmom to somebody's kid and I just right now I'm not at the place to be having kids so I'm not at the place to be a stepmom to a kid and you definitely need to be mentally prepared for that so I'm not gonna date anybody that has a kid just because it's not gonna go anywhere yeah I can see that I definitely wouldn't date someone who had a kid that's just too much responsibility that's way too much responsibility I, mean, I can barely take care of myself <laughs> <laughs> you gotta deal with like the partner the other partner, mm, the baby mama, baby, baby mama, daddy, baby, yeah, yeah. Whatever it is. they in that life for life. So they're locked in. Locked in. Locked. What do you think the maximum age gap anyone should have between them and their significant other? Mm, I want to say like four years is the max. For me personally, I'm not dating anybody like my age or younger, especially younger. Maybe somebody my age, but I don't really like people like dating somebody that's my age not dating anybody younger than me. And I think the highest I personally would go is like four years older than me because then we're kind of, you know, like in the same space. And I feel like if you're dating somebody and you're like seven years, 10 years older than them. Yeah, that's a big Especially if it's like 21, 31 right. or something. You're like, at completely different stages in your life. Two like, different stages and that's weird. Why can't you get anybody you're your really, age? Why is no one else like you? <laughs> why does this woman not like you? Honestly, I think mine would be like maybe four or five years. Four or five years, yeah. yeah. Like, what about lower? No, definitely no, not. Right, no. <laughs> <laughs> not, no. You need to be able to like teach me something. You can't be younger than me trying yeah. to lead me. Yes. It's not because then I'm not gonna listen. <laughs> no, it's not gonna go down like that. Yeah, you know what? You have never really dated someone like your age. I've They've never always been older. Someone. Always. How much does your partner have to make? I don't think there's like a a number on it, you know? Yeah. I mean, the more, the merrier, but <laughs> I don't think there's like a number on it. I just think like you have to have some money. Like I can't be dating, you know, <laughs> no one broke. <laughs> but I don't think there's a number on it. Yeah. I do need somebody that makes more than me. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> I definitely need somebody that makes more than me. But like, let's say, where I'm dating somebody and when we first meet they make it more than me now it's a year or two in and yeah. for some reason I'm making more than them that's fine to me you know but initially that is what I would go for I'm not gonna go for somebody that's making less than me why do you prefer women for a lot of reasons I don't know I'm attracted to them I don't like niggas they don't attract me and I feel like women are very nurturing like caring everything detail oriented if you feel in a type of way because a certain thing happened, like a woman is gonna be able to tell you why you feel this type of way. You know what, what I mean? Like, yeah, what happened? Instead of being like, oh, tell me what I did wrong. Yeah. Or, it's just something about. <laughs> just something different. <laughs> it's just something about women. I just do. I don't know. Like, I that's wish just, I didn't know. <laughs> I wish I knew, but I don't. If you did date a man, what would the standards have to be and which celebrity man would, would compare? I don't think there's going to be a guy like, oh, well, if he had all these qualities, like, I would date him. Like, yeah. No, because I'm not attracted to men. But if I was interested in men, the standards would be high. It's weird to say, but I guess my standards would be higher than, like, what I'm looking for in a woman. But not technically higher. It's just because like, in my head, I'm like, I don't like niggas. So you're going to have to go above and beyond type thing. Yeah. So it's hard for me to, you know, put them on the same playing level. I had to date a celebrity guy. Who would it be? Who would it be? Who would it be? Have you ever seen someone like a celebrity and be like, you know what? Just one time? Not the guys. Um, I wouldn't expect this, but I'm not gonna lie. Central C kind of fun. Yo, did you ain't lying. You ain't lying. How would you, how does he not have a a drop of black in him? <laughs> I know he got some big <laughs> I know he do. I don't know, maybe him, I guess. I like Lil Baby's, like, demeanor. Okay. Like, I feel like that would probably be the type of nigga that I would be into. Like, mindset-wise? Yeah. Okay, I yeah. can see that.
Do you believe in zodiac signs having a factor in your compatibility? Yes and no, I guess. Everyone acts different. A lot of people, like, they do group with their zodiac sign. For instance, I'm an Aries. I'm very fiery. I'm a big personality at times, but, you know, I can be kind of introverted at times, but I'm outgoing. You want to be, I'm a leader, things like that. So I think when I'm picking somebody, I'm not canceling anybody out because they're a Gemini or, like, yeah. you know, they're a Leo. Or, but I'm definitely taking that into consideration, just how we interact. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. Like, Pisces are hella emotional, you know? So <laughs> I don't, like, I don't like all the overly emotional so i'm not going to be able to date a pisces but if a pisces like if pisces come by and they're not like that i'm no. that's good yeah, yeah. Like, i'm going based off your vibes i'm not going based off of only the zodiac yeah like find out i'm like nah you're cut like yeah zodiac signs they be pretty spot on they do i feel like they do and they don't just like you said if you met a pisces that wasn't like that mm -hmm. there are a few i feel like most of them do line up with with how <laughs> they're categorized yeah. by their by their sign, but also it matters about like your rising, your yeah, moon, and definitely all that type of stuff, and who you were raised by. And I'm like, so at this point, you're basically just saying like we're a mix of things. <laughs> you know what your rising and all that is? I always look at it and I always forget. I feel like one's a Leo or something, which I don't know. You would have another fire sign. I don't know. <laughs> no, for real. What are yours? Do you know yours? So yeah, mine. So my sun is Scorpio, my moon is Capricorn, and my rising is Capricorn too. No, I was just gonna say, give Capricorn so much. I was raised by a Taurus, though. Your dad? My mom. Oh, your mom? My mom. My I think your dad gives Taurus. My dad's a Pisces. Where is he? He's a Pisces. You definitely give Capricorn vibes. I feel like I feel like Capricorn people are very down to earth. They really take their friendships and relationships serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're dependable. Definitely. That's a good one. You're dependable, sis. Thanks. <laughs> How do you feel about making the first move? Does the other person have to make it every time? I like making the first move. Like, me personally, I be feeling like it's a game, you know? <laughs> it's just exciting to me. It gives me a little rush, you know? It makes, makes me nervous. You play like, the win? <laughs> I play for keeps. Like, I like making the first moves, but at the same time, I like when people make the first move, especially if it's like bold you know i yeah. like when people are bold i like when you're like i don't want to say aggressive <laughs> <laughs> but not shy i don't want to say aggressive but like kind of aggressive i don't know if you come in with that big dick energy then <laughs> but i like making the first move sometimes it just depends see so would you body. so you prefer doing it or like would you so would you go out and approach somebody i would go out and approach somebody for sure especially if they like you guys are like, I ain't trying to Okay, this is one thing though. I feel like if it's the type of thing, you know when you're younger and you're like walking through the mall and you see somebody and then you look up, <laughs> you look at them, they're looking at you and then like you turn around and they still looking, you know, yeah. y'all passing each other. Yeah. Bro, if we're both doing that and you don't come up to say something to me, you're a bitch. Like, you're scary. <laughs> you're scary. So it's no, that's why I'm not saying anything. But if I'm at the bar or something, I see somebody across the way, like, I'll go up to you. But if we doing the eye contact thing and you're not coming up to me, like, no, I'm not doing it. Really? I'm not, I'm not doing it. You see me seeing you seeing me. Yeah. The eye contact is made. It's official. Like, you don't have to be scared that you're going to get rejected. Because I'm over here looking you up here. I'm doing it too. I'm literally telling you to come over here, like, which is rare. So you better, you better take your take chance. Take your chance. <laughs> take your chance. Do you ever think, like, if you... And Dylan met at the bar or something. How would that interaction you know where we go? Met? Huh? Do you know where we met? At a party. At your party. Which one? The one we had at the restaurant. That's where you met him? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Bitch, why did I not know that all these years? <laughs> Who brought him? Uh, we just invited him over Instagram. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. My sweet 16. <laughs> I brought it all together. I'm going to write that in the marriage speech. I have brought y'all together. And he approached me, so it was like... Exactly. So, how do you feel about breaks in a relationship? I... I'm not a fan. You know this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of breaks. I feel like... What the f*** is a break, first Honestly, of all? Honestly, like... What the f*** is a break? Do you want me or not? If people get overwhelmed in a relationship or you have outside influences that are overwhelming you that's fine but you're supposed to still like lean on your partner like what is a break there's you can have space yeah 
Definitely. But you don't need to go on a break. And I feel like usually when you're on a break, it's kind of like a no rules type of thing. Yeah, That's technically, you know I mean, there's like supposed to be because you're not broken up, but it's yeah. like you're not really together either. So then it's like, what's the point? Yeah, I feel that. Breaks don't work, sis. They don't. I feel like a break, especially the person who asked for a break, it's just like, I feel like you're just being sneaky because like, what do you... That part. Like, you're obviously out there looking for something. Because like you said, we can easily just take time to ourselves. Right. And like, you know, we don't have to be smothered with each other all the time. Yeah. But why do we have to not be together yeah. at all? Like, you gonna go on a break <laughs> when we get married? Like, you know no breaks, I mean? friend. This like, is a practice marriage. When you're in a relationship, literally. like, it's... Or what am I dating for? Yeah. Because I like to be single. Like, I'll be... Like, if I'm single, I'm hoeing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm outside. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm outside. I'm talking to people. And then when I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. So this is the practice marriage. Yeah. So if this is what you're doing now, you're not dependable. Yeah, definitely. Have you ever had a one night stand and how do you feel about them? <laughs> <laughs> I have had like, okay. <clears throat> it wasn't technically a one night stand because it was premeditated like it was planned mm -hmm. so it's not like i met somebody in the club or at the bar and then i like just picked them up went back home with yeah. them or you know what i mean but when i was younger i had this girl fly down from texas <laughs> and like <laughs> I had this, okay so this is what happened right i had flew to la i was just gonna be out there for like two days so i was like okay bet meet me in la you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> like you can meet me in LA so she met me in LA and you know and then but after that it was so funny because like we did not I don't know I didn't talk to her after that she tries to hit me up after that oh okay but this is gonna sound so bad like I didn't want to talk to her <laughs> I didn't want like a relationship with her. Like I have my own shit going on. And that's what she wanted though? She wanted like a relationship. She, yeah, she you. wanted a relationship. And then after, you know, we did what we did, <laughs> of course she so you felt that. <laughs> like in there. <laughs> you knew. No, 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 but listen, this this is how it went, right? This is how it went. Because we were just conversing, whatever, texting on some very like nonchalant easy shit right we weren't texting facetiming doing the whole night like oh okay. you're my bae all this other shit. Like, yeah, we're yeah. just on some like i'm bored shit. so when we had did what we did i'm not thinking like oh she thinks this is going to turn into a relationship like we're going to start talking because it was that it, it, it was wasn't those that vibes. okay yeah but then after she was like really feeling the kids oh. i mean you know how could you not she was trying to do too much she was trying to do too much shit. Yes. Why did she post me on something? Why did you never tell me this? <laughs> what did she do? Did she post? I think we like we had took pictures, mm -hmm. you know? And this is why you can't be taking pictures. No face, no case. Like, whatever. We had to take some pictures. You know, outfits were cute. So I was like, okay, boom, let's take a picture in the mirror. And I think she tried to, I can't remember. It was like on Twitter. And I was like. Oh, no, 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 so it wasn't even really meant to be a one night stand. I feel like she was hurting her own feelings at that point. Cause what are you doing that for? Cause what are you doing that for? Like, like without permission? Like, bro, this is absolutely insane. I wasn't. How do you feel about polygamy? <laughs> I feel, I don't know. I don't know. Like <laughs> I've thought about it. And the only reason why I feel like people think it's odd is because we obviously It's all not were, the norm. It's not the norm, yeah. Nobody grew up that way. Most people didn't grow up that way. It's not the society norm. It's it's different, but in reality, like who says that we're supposed to be in relationships in general? Like yeah. Or lifelong relationships like or in a relationship with just like one person. I don't know if it works for you, it works for you. I always be telling people like <laughs> if I ever married a man, like 
I would have another girlfriend. <laughs> but she would be my girlfriend. Like, she wouldn't be our girlfriend. She'd be yours. She'd be my girlfriend, yeah. Okay. You, like, you can't play with her, too. It's just me. <laughs> but to each his own. What would, you, what would you do if you met somebody who was super chill, super cool, and then you found out? Like, how would you feel? Oh, and they wanted me to kind of, like, join? Yeah. Like, maybe it was, like, the sense where they don't bring you around, like, their partner. Kind of, like, open. Yeah, like, open, open type of thing. Um... This is different. Like, if I'm in a relationship with you, or if I'm in a relationship with somebody, and we've just been in a regular, regular relationship, yeah. and then you ask me for an open relationship, no. Yeah. No. But, I don't know if I can mess with somebody that's in a relationship. If they were like, oh, we're open, like, it's cool. Because I don't really like the idea of whoever, like, I'm messing with, messing with another person Yeah. at the same time. Yeah. You know, I know when you're dating casually and you're like dating around, that's kind of what's happening. Yeah. But you're not aware of it, one. And it's not for sure thing. Like if I date somebody, that doesn't mean that same week they're dating somebody else and going to bed with somebody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you're in a relationship and you're in an open relationship, I know you're going to sleep with her every night. Yeah. And I don't think I could get jiggy with it. Like I could do a threesome. Like, if they were like, oh, you know, this is me and my girl, like, we in an open relationship or whatever, you know, we just looking for some fun, yada, 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 yada. I think I could do that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I think I could do that. But it would just be like, it would just be like a one, a one time thing. Yeah. What would you say is your biggest lesson and your biggest blessing of the year? I've been going through it this year. Yes. You know, it's been a lot going on. I've been going through it. <laughs> My biggest lesson, I feel like, is know what you want. Everything needs to be intentional. My biggest blessing, I feel like a lot of doors closed and a couple doors open. All right, y'all, that wraps it up now. Thank you guys for coming to our session. Let me know what you guys think, how you guys will be answering these questions in the comments. I definitely want to know what you guys have to say. Comment down below if you guys want me to do another video like this again. See you next time.